2016, the Film and Publication Board is proud to be celebrating its 20th anniversary as a content classification authority. The phenomenal rate at which technology is developing is presenting the FPB with new opportunities and the ever-changing landscape poses new challenges like the growing amount of unclassified content available online. In recent years, the Film and Publication Board, also known as the FPB, has been inundated with an escalating volume of complaints, particularly relating to online distribution of harmful content. These range from still and video images to games, cyberbullying, child abuse images, as well as identity theft and cyber racism. In response to media convergence, the FPB's OCRP, Online Content Regulation Policy, has been developed. The draft was submitted in February 2015, approved by the Council in March 2016, and has been submitted to the Minister for Approval and Gazetting. The FPB is proud to announce that it has also bolstered its online compliance monitoring aimed at curbing exposure of children to pornography and the distribution of child pornography. In October 2015, the FPB held a conference focusing on cyber safety, child protection and content classification from an African perspective, the first of its kind. Over 250 delegates from the SADC region, Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe shared their insight and expertise. Participants deliberated on the approaches to cyber safety, child protection and content classification that can benefit the Southern African development community and the global community at large. From April 2015 to March 2016, 1,941 pieces of material were submitted for classification and 1,915 were classified. The remaining 26 were rejected due to non-compliance by distributors in the form of license, financial or faulty material. Effectively, a 100% classification rate was achieved. Moreover, there were no carryovers, making it even more remarkable. But the FPB does a lot more than adjudicating submissions. Compliance monitoring. Another important aspect of the FPB's work has also proven extremely effective. In the past year, 7,234 distributors and 1,265 ISPs were inspected. 2,707 unregistered distributors were identified, of which 1,176 ceased to operate voluntarily or due to FPB intervention. In Cape Town, Durban and Johannesburg, 104 raids were carried out, 171,536 discs were destroyed with a street value of 17,153,600 rand. A lot of the success can be ascribed to the FPB Compliance Monitoring e-Visitation online system. This system is able to provide real-time reports, easing the risk of discrepancies. The FPB also developed a training manual for educators to assist them in informing learners and the community about classification, regulation, legal implications and cyber safety. Over 300 educators were trained in Limpopo, KZN, the Western Cape and Northern Cape, while 1,961 learners were trained on cyber safety. Law officers were also updated on the Act. 13 training workshops were run with 487 law enforcement officers in the Western Cape, the Free State, Limpopo and KZN, rendering them able to assist the FPB in expanding the footprint and increasing visibility, arrests and prosecutions. The importance of informing children on how to use the internet responsibly was also identified. FPB is also excited about the launch of WebRanger South Africa peer-to-peer -peer cyber safety mentoring program for children in partnership with Media Monitoring Africa and Google SA. Coupled with that, we also continued our partnership with Quad Republic, focusing on the socio-economic issues affecting the LGBTI community, one of which is cyber safety and security. This is aligned to outcome 14 of the National Development Plan of Nation Building and Social Cohesion. On the financial and performance reporting front, the FPB has passed with a plum and was given a clean bill of health from the Auditor General, only raising non-compliance issues with regards to preventing irregular, fruitless and wasteful expenditure. The accounting surplus in 2016 has decreased, indicating appropriate budget and expenditure management. The retention of the FPB surplus were approved by the National Treasury to ensure FPB can meet its outstanding obligations in the new financial year. Administrative fees have risen but way below inflation due to implementation of cost containment principles. 
fruitless and wasteful expenditure has diminished and irregular expenditure exceptionally well managed. A high achievement against planned targets were achieved. In its 20th year of existence, the FPB has every reason to be proud and looks forward to the coming years of providing excellent service to the citizens of South Africa. We will continue to keep consumers informed so they can make the best choices when it comes to content consumption.